Double Stranded and welcome to my channel. And today I have a very quick meal for you guys. So if you like fish or you're pescatarian, then go ahead and stick around for this quick little meal prep. I've already got things going here. So I have some bird's eye frozen broccoli simmering here with just a few pats of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I have some red quinoa simmering here. It needs to simmer for about 20 minutes. It's been on for about five minutes. So we got about 15 more minutes to go with that. And I just followed the directions on the package. This is the brand that I use. And basically you put two cups of water in. I added a couple of bouillon cubes to it to add a little bit of flavor to the water and the quinoa and just a tablespoon of oil and that is boiling now and now we're going to step over and take a look at the mahi mahi we're going to be making black and mahi mahi and when i say this is so quick and easy and very tasty trust me you'll love it so this is the mahi mahi and for those of you who don't know what mahi mahi is let's take a minute to learn about this unique fish Though mahi-mahi are also known as dolphin fish, they are not related to the friendly mammals known as dolphins. Instead, they are true bony fish belonging to the class Actinoctorygii, or ray fin fish. Fishermen seek the mahi-mahi because consumers like their firm meat. The mahi-mahi fish does have both scales and fins. So now that we know a little bit about mahi mahi, I really love it because it's a mild fish and it is just so flaky and tasty. I absolutely love it. I prefer to do it blackened over baking or frying and um, it's just a really nice fish. It's a very firm meat once you cook it. You do not need to cook it for long. Only thing we're going to need for this dish is this, and this is Magic uh, Seasoning Blends, and this is Black and Red Fish Magic, and this is what the bottle looks like, and you want to be very generous in applying this. This has 105 milligrams of sodium in it, so I do not add any salt to these. Um, I just use this, and like I said, a little bit of oil in the pan, and that is pretty much it. So, and if you want to add other seasonings, you can like sprinkle with a little bit of onion powder. But like I say, I just, I'm very generous with this. So you want to make sure you give a nice coating on all the fillets on both sides. And I tend to use almost half a bottle on uh, my fish when I do it. I mean, literally, I've only use this twice and you can already see it's gone down so you want to give it a like i said a generous sprinkling make sure everything is covered So now we are ready to put them in the pan, so let's do that. Oil is nice and hot. And then we're just gonna let that cook, like I said, on both sides for about three minutes. So you want to make sure that these have a nice little brown on both sides. There we go. Just going to give it a flip. Like I said, this is so quick and easy, guys. You don't want this to overcook because it can get a little too tough. So we're gonna let that cook for three minutes on that side and then we're gonna serve it up. All right, so the quinoa is done and you just wanna fluff it with a fork. And that is pretty much it, guys. 
I overcooked the broccoli just a little bit. You can always tell when you overcook broccoli because the vibrant green kind of fades away and it kind of takes on a, like a brownish tinge to it. So that is it, but we're ready to plate up. Really good. This is so delicious. So if you're looking for a quick, easy, healthy meal, then this is the meal for you. Absolutely love it. And as always, remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I will see you next time.